Hi. So, as you can see, we are going to be doing some baking today. There is a Critter Crusaders event this weekend, a bake sale to help raise money for them. They're an animal rescue here in town. So I thought, what better way, since I'm in a baking mood from yesterday, to do some charity work. So yeah, we're gonna make some baked goods, couple uh, sweet potato cornbreads that I had my eye on after that viral video. I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, some of those, and then we're gonna do some um, brown butter toffee cookies. So like kind of like chocolate chippy vibes, but not really, that my friend sent me for a recipe. And then last but not least, we're gonna do some pecan pie cheesecake bars, cause I've been dying to make a cheesecake and I love to make what I can't have, cause I love to torture myself. I'm a masochist. Um, don't know if I can say that on YouTube, but here we are. So um, let's get started. So I realized that um, getting the recipes on my phone and filming on my phone was probably not gonna be the best idea, but um, I have nothing else to film on currently. So we're just gonna do what we can. I wrote down the recipe in my little shitty shorthand. So we'll just be going off of that. Um, I'm going to start with the pecan pie cheesecake bars since I feel like That'll be the easiest to get out of the way, and we don't really have to worry about those drying out or anything like that. So to do the crust, it's two and a half cups of the graham crackers, and we're making a lot today. So I felt like I could cheat, get the pre-made pre graham cracker crust crumbs. So I'm just going to open that and do two and a half cups of that. And actually, we're going to pause for a second while... I get my, the rest of my stuff out and um, fix this camera angle because I don't think you want to stare at my ass the whole entire time, so. Okay, I think that's a little better. So um, first off is two and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs. So I'm just using a half cup measure. There's one. Whoa, two, oh, nope, not two. I don't know where I'm getting off counting like that. Excuse me, I have not eaten today. I don't know if you could hear that. Okay, there's five half cups of the graham cracker crumbs. We'll just put Okay. So then a quarter cup of sugar, which my sugar is, that's flour. These have all gotten switched around, so pardon me. half a cup of butter melted. I just realized that I definitely don't have enough butter. So this is half a cup, two of those little Land Lakes like individual quarter cup sticks. Super cute. Put that in the microwave for like, I don't know, 20 seconds. I'm gonna have to go back out and get some stuff after I make these, but whatever. Okay, how that melted completely without actually spilling in the microwave. Um, is beyond me. So anyways, you're gonna pour that into your graham cracker crust mixture. Put that in the sink. Give this a mix. You want all of that coated and mixed up. That hurt, but. I haven't actually made cheesecake in so long. It's been probably since right around the middle of the pandemic, like, well, the first year of the pandemic, but. Okay, that looks good to me. Everything looks coated and even. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put this in a nine by 13 pan 
that you've lined with parchment paper. So what we're gonna do is just fix this out a little bit. I never was the greatest at parchment paper things. Like how do you even like way more than I thought so um, I definitely thought it was gonna be thin anyways you are gonna even this out and then you're going to press it down flat so it's nice and tight tight like a toy gun anyways this literally looks like kinetic sand I just said this to the cute cashier at the grocery store she was playing with the dark brown sugar that I got for um, the other recipe and she was like, wow, I could just play with this all day. And I was like, yeah, it's like moon sand. So, so, um, this looks pretty good. Anyways, I'm gonna finish this off camera and then we'll get started on the cheesecake layer. So the way that I didn't know you could soften cream cheese in the package until like literally three years ago when I was making cream, or cheesecakes like on a regular basis is astounding because not that I baked a whole lot before I did like to bake but um literally waiting hours just to make a cheesecake when it already takes fucking hours to make I don't know like the insanity to me this is amazing but anyways so while them bitches are softening in the microwave I'm gonna go ahead and add the other ingredients for the cheesecake layer. So um, I'm gonna add two eggs, which I'm just doing straight out of the fridge because for my other recipe, I got room temperature eggs sitting out. So two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I'm gonna do three quarter cup of sugar. So, and I'm adding the eggs first so then I can just wash my hands right after come on no shell no shell that was a little tricky i don't know why Ooh. oh my god that's really fucking hot So a three quarter cup of sugar. Again, this is like a eighth of a cup. So I'm um, gonna have to do double the amount of these. So one quarter cup. Two quarter cup. Three quarter cup off my hands here look pretty from the sugar a teaspoon of vanilla which this is half a teaspoon so two of these bad boys all right and let's just see if that cream cheese is bad. well it's not bad, I guess. I don't know. Like, I honestly don't know. <laughs> My microwave's broken. I think this is the one that came at the house, but this is like literally been in the microwave for three minutes and it's still just as cold as it was basically when I got it from the store. So anyways, I'm adding two packages of cream cheese. Um, and I'm not eating these personally, so I just figured full fat, whatever I got, whatever was cheapest was fine. So empty that out. And then I'm just going to beat this with an electric mixer wherever I have it. Um, and then I'll see you for the pecan pie layer. So um, you just want to do this for three to five minutes 
I think I'm gonna do five minutes, so I forgot I was filming for a second. So um we have the cream cheese layer spread evenly. Um, we are going to be heating up a cup of the brown sugar um, packed with half a cup of this caro syrup. Uh, it called for the light caro, but truthfully, um, there's no difference in flavor, so it really is just depending on how you want it to look. Uh, let's see if I can get this off. Why don't I ever think of anything before I actually do it? You know what I mean? Jesus. Make everything fucking difficult. Okay, so. Half a cup. into our sugar mixture thing. Well, now it's a mixture. Let's see. Have this on medium for now. I don't think that's good enough. I'm not getting all that out of there. And of course the dishwasher is ready to be unloaded. What do you know? So half a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is a pint. Um, let's see. Half a cup. And then it calls for a quarter cup of butter, which like I said, these little guys are just a quarter cup. So unpeel, unpeel, peel, and stick the butter, flop it in, let it melt. And then a teaspoon, again, of vanilla. So two of these bad boys. and two cups of pecans. Again, I cheated, sort of, and already got the chopped pecans because your girl did not feel like busting out the big guns today. <clears throat> so I'm gonna let that, whoops, whoops. We lost a few soldiers. So I'm going to give that a mix, let it come to a boil, um, let it boil for a minute, then I'll take it off the heat. Oh, you know what? I fucked up already because I was supposed to add the vanilla and the pecans after. So don't do what I did. We'll see how it turns out, I guess, but fuck a duck. So other than making... A mess um not a huge difference in adding the vanilla and pecans in beforehand just make sure you have a big enough pot um it did spill over a little bit and kind of smells and is now burning on my stove top but um i'm just gonna let it cool um a little bit and then um we'll pour it on top okay so it's cooled a little bit i'm just going to take this rice um, cooker spatula thing, kind of spoon it on. So the recipe said you didn't want it to like sink to the bottom, which sugar tends to do. I've learned in my bartending, um, practices. The heaviest sugar component or whatever, you know what I mean? Like the highest amount of sugar sinks. So these are just gonna get spooned on. This is a lot of like caramel. It looks really good though. 
You know, I've been wanting to make these for so fucking long, honestly, but never got around to it because I was always fucking dinking around doing other stuff, naughty things, but yeah. that looks good to me. I'm just going to give it a little one-two pat, <clears throat> you know, make sure it's all even. I might have, should have maybe allowed it to cool a little more. It looks like it's kind of melting the cream cheese. So into the oven for, um, I believe 35 minutes it says. All right, we'll check it when it's done. So this is how they came out. This is the top, maybe a little crustier, crunchier than I wanted, but uh, not bad overall. I think I'm gonna cut them up later and portion them out for um, Saturday. And yeah. I may or may not make separate videos for the other uh, desserts and whatnot. I'll take this fucking headband out. But yeah, that's it for the cheesecake bars. Super simple. Well, you know what? I say that, I'm trying to be all YouTubies, whatever. Obviously, I fucked up. So it's clearly not that easy. I don't know. Whatever. Hope you liked it. If you make it, comment and let me know how you like them because obviously I won't be eating these. But anyway, have a good one. See you in the next one.